Hello students, welcome back. We are here to start this topic, formation of groups, where we will study about how different groups are formed. So let's have a look. The number of ways in which m plus n different things can be divided into two groups, one containing m things and the other containing n things. So we are dividing m plus n different things into two groups, one containing m things and the other containing n things. So the number of ways of doing this will be given by m plus n c n or which in turn is equal to m plus n factorial divided by m factorial n factorial. So what we are doing basically is out of m plus n different things we are selecting any n things. So the m things which are left out will automatically form the other group. Let us see this through an example. Out of four players p1, p2, p3, p4 two teams are to be formed one containing three players and the other containing one player. So out of four players, I want to divide these four players into two teams, one containing three players and the other team containing one player. So the number of ways of doing this will be given by four factorial by three factorial, one factorial, which is equal to four. Now which are these four teams that are possible? Let us have a look. If I reject P1, I will get one team. If I reject P2, I will get the other team. If I reject P3, I will get the third team and if I reject P4, I will get the fourth team. So whenever I am rejecting one player, I will get one team. Either I can reject one player or I can select three players. So both of them are same. So either I can use 4C3 or I can use 4C1. Either I can reject one or I can select three. Both of them will be give me four, which are the number of total groups that are possible.